All right, these are the seven churches I'm referring to. Notice the E1B1 haplogroup group is in the area. This is Greece, the island of Patmos, the Aegean Sea, um, Paragamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea. This refers to the migration from Africa of the knowledge. Jesus was a child in Egypt and in Israel. And then the first people to record and spread Christianity, just like the ancient mysteries from the myths of 3000 BCE and before, all the way back to 10,000 BCE and 20,000 BCE in Africa. We continue. This is an Ethiopian tribe that is Jewish, mixed, appearing black. The Lemba tribe, South Africa. This is the migration of the Lemba tribe. And as you can see, it supports my migration from Egypt, which is a factual migration based on facts, no theory at all. And it goes downwards. Remember, I said that it was the different seas and pirates and armies invading that forced the real descendants of the Jews in the ancient Egyptians south and southwest toward south, central, and west Africa. Now look at the migration of the Lemba people implying further migrations this way and also notice what is around them I would compare that to the Niger River they went down to the source of the Nile and beyond and kept following the water routes and others as they decided to split up went on the Niger River Now I'm going to start from where I left off. To the angel in the church in Thyatira, right? These are the words of the Son of God whose eyes are like blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet is Vampress! Vampress! By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. Vampress! Vampress! I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. Like all the vampirous whores. I'm, I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> so I will cast her on a bed of suffering. And I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. That all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Thyatira. To you who do not hold to her teaching. And have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets. The devil woods mysteries in his perversion of the ancient Africa wisdom from God. Oh, why? Why? I will not impose any other burden on. I'll need hold on to what you have until I come. To him who overcomes and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. Yes, it can be you too. He will rule them with an iron scepter. 
He will dash them to pieces like pottery. Yes, my listeners, this can be you too. Just as I have received authority from my father. I will also give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the church in Sardis. To the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who hold the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up! Strengthen what remains in and is about to die. For I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my God. You're not doing it right, Asian man. You're not doing it right, white man. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Obey it and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief and will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. Like that Asian monk that acknowledged I was right. That will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out his name from the book of life, but I will acknowledge his name before my Father and his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the church in Philadelphia, to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut. What he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews... Though they are not, but are liars, I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, that, so that no one will take your crown. Him who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my name my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the church in Laodicea, to the angel of the church in Laodicea, write, these are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. Amen is the Egyptian God that they are referring to. He has the tablets of creation on his head and the covenant. I know your deeds that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and do not need a thing, but you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, so you can become rich in white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness. 
and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. Many an argument I had with women over covering their nakedness and with their parents who were wrong as well. I was right! You were wrong! Those who on my love I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will give the night. I mean, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne. Just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches.